Um, and I think it's a good way to end our time together. Um, what is the biggest challenge to central Illinois in the next decade? And what can our elected officials do to mitigate, mitigate these challenges? So for us here in central Illinois and specifically the Peoria region, uh, we are undergoing a major transformation and uh, it can create some anxiety, uh, but I take comfort in knowing that we have done it before. This is a region that has reinvented itself again and again. We've gone from being uh, an agricultural community, uh, harnessing that strength and turning ourselves into the whiskey capital of the world and financing the uh, uh, almost the entirety of the operations of the federal government uh, at one point. Uh, and then, but we had to go through a transformation uh, during prohibition and then enter in Caterpillar and uh, our manufacturing days and some of the strength and success that we've had there. But we're going through another transformation again. Uh, and we will do everything we can to preserve and protect uh, and gain every single Caterpillar job that we have in this community. It's absolutely essential uh, that we do that. But we know that that uh, legacy has changed here in central Illinois. So that's the next transformation that I'm talking about. We're very lucky and blessed that we have um, uh, such bold, innovative strength in healthcare with two major healthcare delivery systems, with uh, the University of Illinois College of Medicine. We, we, you know, these, these tools are amazing for us. But at the same time, those are uh, nonprofit organizations, hospital margins are not a good business to be in. We could have lots of employees, but it's not the same as a Fortune 50 uh, company in the same way Caterpillar is. So we're undergoing this transformation and transition where we need to utilize the strength that we have in Caterpillar manufacturing, in bold healthcare leadership and innovation, and we need to use it and apply to future economic growth because jobs are going to be absolutely the key for everything we do. And so it's companies like Natural Fiber Welding and others that we need to continue to incubate, uh, grow, leverage their connections. And th those pillars that I talked about, whether it's agricultural or manufacturing or healthcare, can lead to new types of jobs and businesses. I don't know that any of them on their own are going to be 10,000 or 20,000 employee jobs. They certainly won't. But we need to be in the business of creating um, more local firms, uh, developing businesses that can grow at uh, 100, 200, 300 jobs at a time. That will be our currency for success going forward. And to do that, we've got to go out and sell this community. We, the, the advertising that you see going on right now about Choose Greater Peoria is very deliberate and intentional. Uh, we need to make sure that people can recognize both ourselves, because sometimes we need to boost ourselves, but especially the outside area, uh, what a special region that we have, a quality of place and environment that's great. And we can use that to attract new business and uh, gain jobs with those that are already here. Every time I see an ad for Peoria in Chicago, I'm really, really happy about that. We don't all get to see that very often, but that is the right thing that we can do to continue to tell our story. And that will be a part of our next transformation. So I feel very good about where we're going as a region because we've done this before and we'll do it again.